32 человека к нам. 30. Russian troops have come within two kilometers of the city of Kurakovo in Donetsk Oblast, Build military analyst Julian Ropk reports. In mid-September, Ropk visited the frontline town of Kurakovo, where about 18,000 people lived before the war. At that time, Russian troops were stationed about eight kilometers to the east. In early October, they made a breakthrough, capturing the village of Ostrovskoy and reaching the shores of the Kurakovskoy Reservoir. Now the occupiers are only two kilometers from the town and continue to advance, despite heavy losses. The fighting near Kurakovo is becoming more serious. We see a big breakthrough that was made here, about six to seven kilometers, which have been made in the last month. This is a very narrow strip, like a snake, along which they are going to Kurakovo, Repki noted. Military and political observer Alexander Kovalenko believes that Russian troops will soon begin to attack the city of Kurakovo head-on, using a large amount of equipment. According to him, the occupiers plan to put pressure on this settlement both from the south and from the east. However, expert Ivan Stupik noted that the occupiers can capture Kurakovo without significant effort, forcing the Ukrainian armed forces to retreat from the city, and to do this they need to cut off the key highway, cutting off supplies to our military. The Ukrainian armed forces are engaged in combat clashes with the occupying army of the Russian Federation in the Pokrovsk and Kurakovo regions, repelling numerous attacks by the Russian invaders. Multiple clashes of varying intensity have been recorded in different locations in Donetsk region, with the Ukrainian military successfully repulsing enemy assaults in districts like Vovchansk, Kupiansk, Lyman, Kramatorsk, Toritsk, and more. The Kremlin managed to convince Russian society that the Ukrainian armed forces invasion of the Kursk region is something insignificant and does not matter at all. CNN writes about this. Despite Russia's increased efforts in recent days, Ukraine continues to control hundreds of square kilometers of Russian territory. The Russian offensive is mainly happening on the flanks of our bridgehead. They continue to try to advance, but their successes are gradual. Somewhere, they manage to take a street in a village. But this 
is happening in both directions, we are also counter-attacking and pushing them back, a Ukrainian battalion commander named Dmitry, who is fighting in Kursk, told CNN. According to experts, to drive the Ukrainian armed forces out of the Kursk region, Russia deployed about 40,000 troops who were pulled in small numbers from different parts of the front. It's the equivalent of rummaging through the cushions of the sofa for loose change. Mark Galliotti, a senior fellow at the Royal United Service Institute, a UK think tank, told, as experts note, Russia is trying to avoid diverting any significant forces from the front lines in Ukraine to fight at Kursk. Although the Ukrainian invasion was initially a shock to both the government and ordinary Russians, the Kremlin has managed to downplay the significance of this event in the eyes of the people. The strategy is to distract the public from what has happened, which is obviously a big embarrassment, and to create the impression that it is not serious says John Law, a research fellow at the Russia and Eurasia program at Chatham House. Putin's government has described the Ukrainian armed forces offensive in the Kursk region as a raid and deliberately downplayed the status of its counterattack, calling it a counter-terrorist operation. Instead of focusing resources on liberating its own territory, the Russian military has expanded its offensive on several fronts in Ukraine, particularly in the key areas of Kharkiv, Donbass and Zaporizhia. It seems to be a very high priority for the Kremlin to push as far as possible in the Donbass, despite the losses. There is a window of sorts that is about to close because you are getting into this time of year when the roads are turning to mud. Law added 